welcome to this video guys. This is our second time filming this by the way. I tried to do something earlier and it didn't work. So I'm just gonna sit down and talk with you guys about the week RV update while y'all watch some overlay from this week. In the process of moving in officially to the RV. Obviously we're still in the house right now, but we were at the RV just earlier moving in. Okay, we're gonna squeeze in. Come on puppies, come in. And door close. Good boys. Clothes and shoes and... Everything. Cooking up water, making sure that works. And it does. Are we, are we eating all seven? Mm -hmm. I have some potato chips and homemade hummus too. This week we took our um, replacement mattress over. So the mattress that it comes with is like sleeping on the ground. We upgraded for a really nice mattress. So we put that in, it came in in a box. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that corner. Sand it down. Sand it down. And then it just like inflated. It was kind of cool. It's just every night that we've gone to. Every time we moved, it was night. Yeah. We don't get around to it until it's dark. And so <laughs> that's been interesting. But we are going to be setting up the electric hopefully this week. Sewage is going to be a little while, but um, we can at least live in it with electric and water. And then we're going to use his parents' bathroom. Living on the, the in-laws land. Yeah, out in the wilderness. <laughs> so we've been slowly moving things in. Um, I'm, I'm just really excited. We have so much stuff here that we just have to get rid of. And so many things that we just need to get rid of. And, and it's crazy, but it's all I feel like it's all happening so fast. Like once the process started, everything's going really, really fast. And as of April 1st, we'll be in the RV officially, like done full-time tiny living. I'd say sooner than that. I'd say next week. Of course, I'm gonna vlog our full like first night in because I think that'll be really fun and interesting for you guys to see. The dogs <laughs> like the area because there's a huge fenced in area that his parents have uh, from whenever they used to have dogs. They can just go and run around, but then there's tons of land around the RV itself that they can run around too. So they get to play a lot more. Here, there's places to run, but there's a lot of gravel and there's a lot of wooded area that I don't trust them in. Where, where the RV is, there's lots of open area. So I'm really excited to let them run more. We have fences and on all sides. Just, just get things rolling. And I wanted to say welcome to our new subscribers. We've had a couple hundred come in since we started all of the RV uh, transitioning and buying the RV and everything like that. Yeah. Welcome to you guys that are new to the channel. I hope y'all are enjoying all of the videos and make sure and introduce yourself in the comments below so we know who's watching and, and who's following along the journey with us. And apparently I'm commenting more, so I'll be saying hi to all the new people. I, I try and respond to every single comment on YouTube. I mean, the channel's still very small, but as it grows, I can see how it would be hard to, to get to all of the comments. So as long as we can, we're gonna keep trying to get to every single comment. And he's gonna help with more of like the technical stuff if there's Every something... comment within reason, like yeah. within the first couple days. Yeah, if there's something like ridiculous, I'm not gonna Well, then that, that too. Another thing. I'm compiling a list of RV related Q&A questions. So we're gonna sit down and answer them pretty soon. Of course, we don't know much attempt, about it. Attempt. Yeah, to attempt answer. to. Um, but they're, they're things like, where do we wanna travel? What about the animals? Like that kind of stuff. So if y'all have any questions that you wanna see answered in the Q&A, I think we can get it up next week. Leave them in the comments below. I'd love to get more questions going. Are you so, spending one Yeah, it's gonna be I think that's about it. As far as updates go, like I said, we've been moving stuff in. Oh, um, <laughs> One other random thing. So I made <laughs> vegan French toast this week. The only difference between vegan French toast and non-vegan French toast is usually the egg. Like, so all you do is you buy something, it's called vegan egg and it's by a brand called Follow Your Heart. I got it on Amazon for like five bucks. It's an egg replacer and it's made out of algae and you just mix it with water and it makes the binding agent and it looks, you can use it in baking. You can actually make scrambled eggs with it. I've added it to my scrambled tofu before and it's really good. And I already know that you're really excited about algae, how amazing that sounds, but it tastes just like you like would make things with eggs. French toast was really good. Yeah, it was delicious. That's what I remember as a child, that kind of thing. I'm happy. So, hey, and as we're traveling, if, if we ever meet up with any of you guys, I can make French toast for you. Just buy the ingredients and, and I'll make it for you. I think that's gonna be it as far as the RV update goes. Like I said, leave comments and questions below. 
introduce yourself if you're new to the channel. Thank you for coming along. Uh, lots more videos to come. Friday will be my fitness and health related Q&A, so make sure and stay tuned for that. Oh, I need to stir dinner. Okay. Well, bye. Bye.